Hi, I'm Mike Cloffer, Kenny Kempos, and we're going to be demonstrating the Nakuni micro bubble pump today. So just to show how this is all connected, this is a bucket of water. There's an intake hose that goes in from the bucket through a gate valve that's part of the, uh, the feed-in system to here. This gate valve is left open. Through the gate valve, it comes to a T where a pressure valve is in here, and to disable the pressure valve, you can uh, turn off these uh, ball valves, but we're leaving it on for this demonstration. Then, um, this is the air inlet, so there's a flow meter here with a, uh, a knob on the bottom to control the intake air. The air comes in, passes through this line here, through this check valve, and into the air intake um, at this point. This gauge is reading vacuum, so as you add more air in, um, the suction on the pump is being read from this gauge, so you can uh, compensate for the suction or uh, add air into it. Um, this is the turbine section of the pump down here. The outlet comes up through here. This is the pressure gauge that indicates the pressure of the outlet. And uh, this is a, a check port. You can um, remove fluid from here. Uh, this is also another ball valve that uh, controls the, uh, the gauge being connected or taken out of the, the system or to stop the measurement. Then the fluid goes up from, uh, from the outlet through this check valve right here and into the, uh, the column, the separation column. So the microbubble air solution passes up through here. Um, any extra air that's in solution uh, will rise to the top and this is a bleed valve that's left open just a tiny tiny bit to let any air that shows up in this pocket at the top leak out and go back into the, the bucket. But uh, the microbubble water solution will pass through this little valve right here and then through this hose and down into the bucket. So right now this is uh, just clear water, nothing's been um, done to it. So now we're going to go ahead and begin the test. So you can see right now that there's about um, five inches of mercury vacuum that's being pulled on the intake of this, and on the output is a, just over 60 uh, psi, and the air inflow is three uh, cubic feet per hour. So you can see the uh, water is becoming uh, filled with micro bubbles. And just to give it a demonstration of what the micro bubbles look like, this is a jar with. Um, this is two cups. So these are the micro bubbles, and they persist in the solution. By increasing the pressure and reducing the flow, the bubbles will persist a bit longer in solution. Kenny, if you want to have the honors. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to reduce the flow rate by uh, reducing the outlet valve here. This is going to cause the pressure to increase. So I'm going to stop when it hits 80. Alright, Kenny. Go ahead. We found that running at a slower rate tends to make a solution that doesn't clear as fast. 